Hi everyone, this is Charles and welcome back to AGOD Civil War 2 and today we're going to be starting the the next uh, tutorial series and um, what we're going to do is we're going to basically start um, the second tutorial uh, the one on recruitment production and decisions um, so this is the one we've just finished if you're a new player definitely I recommend watching the first uh, basic rules playlist before going into this. Um, you'll note that like, for instance, it says this is complexity zero and then this is complexity one. So we're just moving into the next um, the next level, basically. Um, we're gonna be going through 11 turns in total. Um, how many tutorials we do will depend on, I guess you said the flow of, of how much information I can give in each video. Uh, looks like in this, in this tutorial are gonna be the Confederates this time and um, and last time we were we were the Union for the first tutorial, so it was nice. We'll get to see um, see the other side. So I've clicked on it. I hit Confederacy and I hit Play. Um, and then the opening screen here talks uh, basically says Welcome to the second tutorial, and um, a lot of it's going to be what's on called the Strategic Atlas. Um, and that's going to be um, this one up, up here in the, the, the book, basically, in, in the top right, or top left, the one on the right. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is um, click on the book, the Strategic Atlas, okay? And it's going to bring up a screen, and it's going to bring up the List of Forces screen. Now, there's another way you can get there, and that is by just pressing F1. So it also brings up a list of forces. And um, for today, this is the only thing we're going to look at is how, how to understand how to understand this. Okay, so what it's basically telling us is that the list of forces, um, there's different ways we can sort our forces to be able to find uh, information, um, information that we want. Okay. Um, for example, it tells us that our st our strongest stack is the Army of the Potomac, later, of course, to be the Army of Northern Virginia. Um, now, by clicking different buttons here, we can sort, or we can also limit to what information we want to sort by using these up here. Okay, so, uh, actually, I think we skipped ahead. Yep, okay, so it wants us to click on the, the muscular arm, which basically is power value. So I click on it once, and it's ascending, so it's zero, no power. Um, and then I click on it again, it takes us to high, our highest power is 927. Now remember, in uh, AGOD's games, power represents like a number of combinations, including the type of force you have, how many you're, you have, their health, um, and other benefits or negatives that your leaders provide. Okay. Um, another thing that we can do is, um, if we, oh, here it is. If we move the, the, the pointer over, um, the three-star general, 424, it lists all the generals in the stack, Boyergaard, Holmes, Longstreet, and, and Bonham. Okay. Now we could basically, we could go through here and we could sort on, on these, whole bunch of other areas. For instance, do we have any forces that do not have a command penalty? Okay, we have quite a few. We also can go the other way and say, okay, we have lots of forces that have command penalties. Um, who's the in the best cohesion? It's like this cavalry unit in Madison, Tennessee. Uh, who's in the worst cohesion? Um, the Fort Macon garrison. So we can you can go through and, and do this um, on any on any different types of uh, uh, information and ways to sort. Here's a really interesting one. So this one says number of elements. Now you remember an element is um, is, a, is a game terminology. It could be a battery. It could be a regiment. Um, so, but you can see that uh, 44 is the Army of the Potomac, which also um, is the highest power. So here they're they're corresponding corresponding to each other. Um, in addition, he talks about here at the top we can we can sort of, um, you know, this might be overwhelming, like, oh, wow, look at all these. I'm just going to move this to the right so you can kind of see. But look at, you can, like, just there's so many different forces. Maybe you're interested in finding something just a bit more specific. So 
one thing you can do is click but click up here to hide certain forces. So um, if we click this, it just leaves us with land forces. I mean, um, it gets rid of land forces, so it just leaves us with the fleets, okay, or navy. Now the next thing we can do, what if we want to know? Okay, do we have any navy units that have a leader? So I click on the button, click to hide stacks without a leader, and then we have one. Um, CSS Sumter, uh, read by uh, Raphael. I think it's Simis, yeah, or Sims. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go to the next one. The next thing it says is you can find where where this force is on the map um, by clicking on the flag. Okay, so if you click on the flag of the unit, it takes you automatically to where the force is. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to press F1. I'm going to um, get rid of hiding stacks without a leader and bring back the navy, um, bring back the land forces. I'm going to do the same thing with the Army of the Potomac. I bring them there and you can see that Border Guards Army uh, is of course in Manassas, which is exactly where you would expect them to be um, late July of 1861. Okay. Um, okay, so, so finally, um, the last thing it tells us to do here before we're going to um, kind of move on, which I think will be the next tutorial, is to uh, go to go to Montgomery or Capital. And um, so if I click on the flag, it takes us to uh, Montgomery. So Montgomery was the first um, first capital of of the Confederacy. So it's late July 1861. Um, so I yeah I, I think. They should be moving the capital to Richmond uh, pretty much any any day now. Um, okay, so that's gonna be tutorial one. Uh, basically, I, I think what I'd recommend is you could kind of come in here to F1, your list of forces, and sort of just play around um, with finding uh, different forces, and then of course you can always go to where they are by clicking clicking on the flag. All right, see you next time.